Good morning, people of God. Good morning. Good morning. Glory to God. Let us pray. Let us praise our God. Good morning, people of God. Hallelujah. Let us praise our God. For the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let us praise our King, a good, good King. Hallelujah. Who else is on the on the line this morning? Who else is online this morning? Who wants to join me to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one who watched over us throughout the night, who woke us up to His glory this morning? the one who has a plan and a purpose for our lives today. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Join me, people of God. Join me. Let us have our devotional this morning. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, we bless you, Lord. We praise you this morning. Let us just enter into his presence with thanksgiving. Good morning, Nicole. God bless you. Let us enter into his presence with thanksgiving this morning and into his courts with praise, for the Lord is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let us praise him, let us praise him, let us praise him, let us thank him. He is so good, he is so good. Father, we thank you this morning. We come before you, O oh Lord, with thanksgiving in our heart, because you have done great things. You have done marvelous things. We thank you, we bless your name. We worship you this morning, we exalt you, we magnify you. Lord, we come to say we are grateful. We come to say we are grateful to you, oh God. Lord, because you watched over us throughout the night, we thank you. The Bible says that you that watches, you that watch over us, you neither slumber nor do you sleep. Lord, you cause your eyes to shine bright upon us. You protect us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, our keeper, our keeper, the one who keeps us from all harms, the one who keeps us safe. We give you praise, oh Lord. We glorify your name today. We adore you. We adore you. We magnify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. You are good. You are so good. You are good. You are so good. You are wonderful. You do good things. You do marvelous things. And Father, you do all things well. You do all things well. Hallelujah. You do all things well. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise because we are safe in your hands. We are safe in your arms. We thank you, oh Lord, because you are the shield around us. Lord, you build a hedge of fire around us. You protect us. You shield us from all harms. You protect our minds. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your holy name. We bless your name, oh Lord. We bless your name. Your name is powerful. Your name is mighty. Your name destroys every stronghold because it is written that the name of Jesus Every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So we thank you for that name, that great name that has been given to us, that great name by which we access the throne room in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have said to us that whatever we ask the Father in your name shall be given unto us. Thank you, O Lord, for access that we have through your name. Thank you, O Lord, for access that we have in your name. We are grateful for your name, your name, your wonderful name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. We find safety in your name. We find security in your name. We find refuge in your name. Hallelujah. Thank you for your name. Thank you for that powerful name. Thank you for that glorious name. We are grateful to you, O Lord. And you said that we are named by your name. Thank you for calling us your own. Thank you because we belong to you. Thank you because we are yours. Hallelujah. 
yes, Lord, we are yours. We are yours. We belong to you and you keep your own and you watch over your own and you protect your own. So we thank you this morning. Hallelujah. We bless you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the rock of our salvation. Hallelujah. The solid rock upon whom we stand. All of that ground is sinking sand. Jesus is our rock. Jesus is our rock. Hallelujah. He is the eternal rock of ages. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we worship you. We give you glory this morning. We thank you even as you draw us to your presence again today. Because when we were asleep, we were in your hands. And when we woke up, we're still with you. And we have come to your presence. Lord, just to reflect on your word and to hear what you will say to us today so that we can stand on your word throughout today. We thank you because this is a good week. We thank you because this is a great week. We thank you because you have already gone ahead of us in this week to make every crooked path straight, to level every mountain, to fill every valley, to break down every bronze or every gate of brass and bars of iron. We thank you, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name. We trust in you, our shepherd. We trust in you, our shepherd. We trust in you, our good shepherd. We trust in you, the great shepherd. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. <coughs> the Lord is just so good. He is so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise this morning. Oh, yes, Lord. You are so good. You are so good. You do great things. It does great things all the time. All the time. Hallelujah. Amen. Our reflection this morning is going to be in Psalm 23, verse 1. Just that one simple line. The Lord is my shepherd. Although it's just one line, but it is loaded with a lot of promises that gives us assurance. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack any good thing. I shall not lack. Hallelujah. It was King David in the Bible who made this confident statement of affirmation based on the relationship that he had with God and what he knew of him. <clears throat> He saw God as his shepherd. He considered God as his shepherd. A shepherd makes it his business to ensure that the sheep are fed, they are comfortable, they are healthy, and they are safe. That is what the, the, the shepherd does. He makes it his business to ensure that his sheep that is within his care, they are fed, they are satisfied, they are comfortable, they are healthy, and they are safe. See, the thing is the sheep don't even ask, have to ask the shepherd to do this. The shepherd just know that this is my duty. This is my responsibility. I am responsible for this sheep. I must make sure that they are safe. I must make sure that they are in good condition. I must make sure that they are comfortable, they are healthy. It is my responsibility to ensure that. It is not the sheep who go to the, to the shepherd and say, you know, you know, you have to keep us safe. You know, you have, no. They, they just depend on the shepherd to do these things. And the shepherd just does it, you know, knowing that this is his responsibility to do. So David considered God as his shepherd who was responsible to provide for his daily necessity. He considered God as his shepherd who was responsible to provide for his daily necessity. He was sure that he would be fed. He was sure that he would be made comfortable. He was sure that the shepherd will make sure that he was healthy and safe, no matter what the conditions were. 
under every condition and all conditions. The shepherd would make sure that the sheep were okay. This is a very bold and confident trust in the Lord. A trust without borders. David trusted God that much that he is my shepherd. And like David, we too can have such confidence, trust in the Lord. We can say with such boldness that the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. I will not be in lack because the Lord is my shepherd. I will not lack joy. I will not lack peace. I will not lack safety. I will not lack sound health. I will not lack any good thing. Why? Because the Lord is my shepherd. This Lord, for you to, for David to have such confidence in this Lord, for him to make such bold declaration, he knew something of God. He knew something about him, that this God is capable. This God has all the resources. This God has all the power. He has everything that I need at his disposal, and he is my shepherd. And in the same way, we are confidently declaring this morning that the Lord is my shepherd. I know God that much. I know him that much. I know that he has everything that I need. I know that the heaven is his and the earth is his. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness of it, the world and those who dwell in it. And the, the Lord who owns everything is my shepherd. Jesus already told us. He already told us that he is the good shepherd. He already told us, he says, I am the good shepherd. He told us in John chapter 10, verse 11. He says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The good shepherd would go to any length for his sheep. And Jesus demonstrated this to us, hallelujah, by giving us his life. So it means that I will give you anything. I would give you, I would do anything for you. I would die for you. And the one who laid down his life for us will also make sure that he provides for our every need. Think about it. Think about it. He laid down his life for us. We are that valuable to him. We are that important to him that he wanted to make sure that we, we were okay. That he would do anything to ensure that we are okay, that we are, we are safe even to, uh, for eternity. He secured our eternal home. Hallelujah. He secured our eternity. He made sure that we can access the throne room. And then he tells us that whatever we ask the Father in his name, he made provision for us. He made provision for our healing because the Bible says that by his stripes, we were healed. He made provision for everything. There is nothing that we need that the Lord has not made provision for. And he who gave us his life, what more could he not give? What more would he not give to us? What is too big for him to do? What is too, what is too big for him to release? He gave his life. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. It doesn't mean that the needs don't arise. The needs do arise, but when they arise, we have to remember who we are. We have to remember who our shepherd is. We have to remember that we have a shepherd who has all the resources that we need. He has everything that we need and he, it is his responsibility. He makes it his own responsibility to make sure that we have everything that we need. He will make sure that we are comfortable. He will make sure that we are fed. He will make sure that we are healthy. He will make sure that we are safe. Hallelujah. This is a sure promise of God. It is a sure promise of God. God tells us <coughs> in Psalm 34 verse 10. Psalm 34 verse 10, he, he promises us. He says, the young lion may lack and suffer hunger. 
But those who trust in him, those who seek him, will not lack any good thing. Hallelujah. That is a sure promise. That is a guarantee that the lion may lack and suffer hunger, but he will make sure that you don't lack. He will make sure that you don't suffer hunger. He will make sure that he provides for your, for, for your every need. He will satisfy your hunger. Whatever it is that you are hungering for, it doesn't have necessarily have to be food, physical food. But whatever our heart is hungering for, whatever we desire that we need, he will make sure that he provides. He said, the young lion may lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. He will not allow you to lack any good thing because you are the one who seek him. Those who seek him, we are the ones who seek him. He will not allow us to lack any good thing because we love him, because we serve him, because we belong to him, because he's our shepherd and we are the sheep of his pasture. Hallelujah. We are the sheep of his pasture. The Lord will make sure that whatever it is that we need, in fact, before we need those things, before we, we know that we need it, he already knew that we are going to need them and he's made provision for them. Amen. Amen. And he tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, it says, and God is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all things and at all times, you will have all that you need and you will abound to every good work. Hallelujah. He will cause his grace to abound to you so that in all things and at all times, I want us to see that God has, he, it, it's not a partial provision that he has made. So that in all things and at all times, you will have all that you need. You will have all that you need. God does not desire that we lack. And then we'll abound unto every good work. God knows that the good work that, that, that um, are in front of, of you, the good work that is in front of you that you need to do. And he knows that you need resources for them. The good work like paying your mortgage or your rent the good work like looking after your family, amen. He will provide for it. Sound mind is a good thing. He will make sure that, you, uh, that his grace abounds you so that in all things and at all times, this is the heart of the good shepherd towards us. This is the heart of the good shepherd towards us, people of God. He will make all grace to abound to us so that we don't lack anything. He wants us to have all that we need, not some of them, not, not a portion of them, not a percentage of them. Understanding is important. Comprehension is important. Comprehension of, of, of the heart of God to us is important. He says all things. This is, what, this is the promise. This is what is available to you. And you have to go for all things, all things, everything that you need, he will provide for you. Amen. What parent is there? That would, that would see their, their children in need and they have the resources to look after their children and they will withhold that thing from their children. And, and the Lord says that if you being evil, know how to give good things to your own children, how much more will your heavenly father give you good things? How much more if you being evil? How many of you know that in comparison to God, we human beings, we are evil? Because only God is holy. He says, if you've been evil, know how to give good things. So God knows how to give good things for us. The Lord Jesus, our shepherd, he knows how to give good things to us. <clears throat> but sometimes we fret. Sometimes we worry. Sometimes we forget that God has actually proven himself as a good shepherd to us. Because he gave his life for us. So we worry. We forget that we have history with him of when he came through for us when our backs were against the wall. We have a history with him when he has done something for us, when he has given some things to us, when he has given us breakthrough in the past. We have a history with him. 
it's not, it, we don't, it, we, we are not new with him. Hallelujah. But because of the urgency and the intensity of the present need or the present issue that we are facing, we forget that he is a good shepherd who, who causes his grace to abound towards us so that we can have the things that we need at the time that we need them. His grace is available to us. Hallelujah. His grace is available to us so that in all things and at all times, we will have all that we need. So child of God, no matter how intense the need is, no matter how urgent it is, let us remember today that the Lord is our shepherd and he is a good shepherd. He is a responsible shepherd. He is a kind shepherd. He is a generous shepherd. Hallelujah. He is reminding us this morning. He wants us, like David, to confidently affirm that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack any good thing. Hallelujah. We have to confidently affirm that. Make that bold statement in the face of any challenge. Make that bold statement. Sound health is a good thing. In the face of anything that wants to challenge the integrity of our shepherd, we have to open our mouth and say, no, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack any good thing. So this week, we are going to go into this week with this affirmation. Hallelujah. We are going to go into this week with this confident assurance that the Lord is my shepherd. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just begin to thank God for his word today. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> we receive your word, oh Lord. Thank you because you are our shepherd. Let us thank the Lord, our good shepherd. He is our good shepherd. He says that I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd laid, lays down his life for the sheep. And Jesus already laid down his life for us. He gave us all things. He bled and died for us. And he rose again. Hallelujah. So let's begin to thank him. Lord, I thank you because you are my shepherd. You are the good shepherd. Hallelujah. You are the good shepherd. Like David, we make our confession today. We make our confession of faith this morning. Make your confession of faith this morning that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. Lack is not my portion. I reject lack in the name of Jesus. Declare it in Jesus' name that I will not lack. In the name of Jesus, I will not lack peace. I will not lack joy. I will not lack money. In the name of Jesus, I will not lack fulfillment. I will live abundant life. I will live a fulfilled life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you are my shepherd. I will not lack good health because by your stripes, I was healed. I declare and I decree that I will live in abundance. In Jesus' mighty name, I reject lack. In Jesus' name, I declare and I decree that lack is not my portion because the Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. Child of God, you have to confess it this morning because the Bible says that the, uh, the power of death, uh, uh, life, the power of life and death is on the tongue. And he who loves it will eat the, its fruit thereof. So you begin to declare this morning, hallelujah, that the Lord is my shepherd I shall not lack. That is your confession. That is your confession. You are not going to confess that, oh, I don't have enough. Oh, I don't have the money to do this. No, the, I will not lack. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord says in Numbers 14, 28, he says, I will do exactly what I hear them say in my hearing. And what the Lord is hearing us say in his hearing this morning is that, Lord, you are my shepherd. You are my shepherd and I will not lack. I say in the face of every challenge, I say in the, in the face of every need that, Lord, you are my shepherd. No matter how intense they are, Lord, you are my shepherd. I will not lack joy in the name of Jesus. I have everything that I need today as I go, as I begin my day today. Lord, I thank you that I have everything that I need. Hallelujah. I will not lack in Jesus' name. The Bible says in, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, it says that his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his glory and goodness. His divine power has given you everything that you need for a godly life, everything that you need to live a godly life, everything that I need 
to live a godly life. Lord, I thank you that your divine power has given it to me through my knowledge of you who called me by your own glory and goodness. I know that you are good. I know that you are powerful through my knowledge of you. It is what you know of God that you will enjoy of him. Hallelujah. It is what you know of him. Uh, uh, King David knew God as his shepherd. He knew the Lord as his shepherd. And that was why he enjoyed everything that he needed. And we are saying that through the knowledge of him, we are confessing that we have everything that, he's, that we need. His divine power has given us everything that we need to live a godly life. I thank you, oh Lord. I thank you, Lord. Everything that I need to live a successful life, everything that I need to, to live a godly life, to, 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 to navigate the affairs of this world, you have given it to me. I receive in Jesus' name. I will not lack. I receive everything that I need for a godly life. I receive direction from you, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I receive inspiration from you, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, I receive a sound mind because everything that I need for a godly life, you have given to me. I receive it in Jesus' name. It's one thing for me to give you something. It's another thing for you to receive it. The Bible says that he has his divine power has given us everything. Let us receive it today. Lord, I receive it today in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive clarity of thoughts. I receive sound mind. I receive fresh anointing. I receive fresh fire on a daily basis. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive your peace like a river in my soul. I receive everything that I need to live a godly life. I receive, oh God, because you are my shepherd. I declare today, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, that Lord, you cause all grace to abound to me this week. You cause all grace to abound towards me this week. And then in all things, and at all times, I will have everything that I need. And I will abound unto great works in the name of Jesus. I will abound unto every good work in Jesus' mighty name. I will, Lord, according to your word, Lord, I receive the grace, O oh Lord, that you have given me, that you have caused to be abound towards me, O oh Lord, that in all things this week, in all things this week, at all times, in everything that I need, I will have everything that I need. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, my shepherd, Lord, my great shepherd, Lord, my good shepherd. I give you praise this morning. Let's just begin to thank him. Let's just begin to bless the good shepherd. Let's begin to thank the great shepherd who causes his grace to abound towards us. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, Lord Jesus, we thank you. You are a good shepherd. You are mindful of us. As our good shepherd, you watch over us. And we confess this morning, like David made that bold declaration, we too, we declare the Lord is my shepherd. We declare it with chest. We declare it confidently that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. We declare according to your word that your grace is available to us this week. That in all things and at all times, we will have all that we need, oh God, everything that we need. And we will abound to every good work. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We receive your word today. We receive your word today. And we bless you. We are empowered by this today. We are empowered. We are encouraged by this today. We are lifted by this today. We are confident, Lord, hallelujah. We are confident of you. We are confident of your word. And we stand on this word, this particular way. And we are ready to declare it, that the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Glory to God. Well, people of God, it's a great week this week. It is a great week. It is a glorious week this week. Hallelujah. As we go into the week, remember that the Lord is your shepherd. Not the circumstances, not the challenges. 
the day, the day doesn't control you. You control the day. This week does not control you. You control this week by the power of God. You declare that the Lord is your shepherd and you have everything that you need. Amen and amen. God bless you richly. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning at the same time. Shalom. Shalom.